What's going on everybody and welcome to another Coffee Break episode. We at it again. Today we got an interview with my man C4 Crotona. He's in the building today and, and we have a cool, co uh, a cool topic that, that we want to talk about. Um, and we want to go straight into it, man. We don't want to waste no time. And thank you for joining in again. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so right now. Hit that bell icon so you can stay notified of videos just like this. My man C4, what's good, bro? What up, man? How you been, man? I'm good, bro. How's everything? Everything's good, bro. Everything's good now. Now we got this energy <laughs> and I'm ready. I got my iced coffee ready. I already had mine cracked open, yeah, man. That's <laughs> it, bro. You already know what's up, bro. How you been, man? How's things, bro? Uh, everything's good, bro. Bless, yeah. man. Bless, right? God is good. God is amazing, bro. We were, um, I know we had a nice little chat over the phone and we were like, yo, I think this is a cool topic to, to kind of like talk about. And I want to go right into it because I think um, if you follow the channel already, you've probably seen, we've already done how many? Like two, two interviews and they've been like in different phases of his life. Um, yeah, you got me when I first got saved. Right. When I first got saved, then you got me a couple years later. Yep. And now you got me now. That's true. So <laughs> actually, you know what? When you did get saved, if you haven't seen those yet, go check those out. If you want to get a little bit, you know, into his life. And obviously, we're, we're going to have more content, I'm, I'm pretty sure. And as, as you continue to just, you know, do things in your life and the Lord keeps opening up doors and stuff like that. But um, I think today we had the topic to talk about was forged testimonies. And um, <laughs> and that was something that just came up out of a conversation that we just had, just talking about, you know, just how we, how people could intend to like overdo their testimony right. and say things that they weren't never about, you know what I mean? And then obviously we can pivot into the whole gritty CHH type of thing. And I, I think it'll kind of mesh together. Right. Um, but what do you think about that? Like, what do you think about just someone forging their testimony i just feel like you know everybody wants to have a you know a cool story you know what i mean like mm -hmm. ain't nothing like a war story or you know i just feel like that's human nature to um <clears throat> exaggerate you know um but obviously a lot of that comes from when you start to get to know the person, you could kind of like tell, oh, he was kind of lying. Right. <laughs> Have you come across like instances now in your walk with, with Christ, right? You gave your life to Christ, you come through all these phases. And now that you're, you're, you're doing more music, you, you're signed, you got all this stuff going on for you. Have you come across people that you've met that you're like, bro, like, I know you, I know you, you didn't, you know, you didn't do that. Yeah. Especially just like with hip hop, bro, I do, I do believe that there is like a spirit of hip hop where, you know, hip hop was, was birthed from like, you know, ego, pride, you know, things of that nature. So, you know, we'll, we'll be silly to not believe that it has, some of that hasn't spilled into, uh, you know, Christian hip hop, mm. you know what I mean? It definitely in, has. In what way, in what way, like in what way? You know, um, just ego, pride, you know, things of that nature, you, you see that. Right. And as far as, you know, the testimony, sometimes I feel like, you know, people wear like their testimony like a like a badge of honor. You know what I mean? Um, when it shouldn't really be, you know? Like, you know, our testimony is where we were and, and, and where, what God took us out from. You know, that should be the, we should be proud that, yeah, God took us out from where we were. Right. You know what I mean? But sometimes, you know, I don't know. You know, people just want to look how they, you know, want want to be perceived a certain certain way. Right. You know, um, but especially when it comes to the more like street type of testimonies, like one thing about those type of testimonies is when when people come from that kind of side of life, you could you could tell. Right. It's not nothing that you just you could see it. You know what I mean? Like you, you it's. I, I can't even say it's discernment. You just know, yeah, like, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, it's just the way they talk, the way they carry themselves. Even if they clean themselves off uh, up and, and, and work in the corporate type of world, like, they still have it on on them. Like, oh, you know, I could tell that he comes from, you know, the other side of the tracks. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, man, 
forged testimonies. <laughs> and and how, how's it been for you? Like, how, how's it been for you? Like, now that you've given your life to Christ, you're, you're, you're not like a baby Christian, so to say, you right. know what I mean? You, you, you've kind of evolved or developed in, in a way as a, as a man, as an artist as well. Right. Like talking about forged signatures, like how do you keep yourself from, from not like tainting your, your, your testimony and stuff like that. And what, what people should be aware of, like, as they come into this place like you, right? Like they get a deal, they get a contract, they do this music thing that, you know, a lot of young cats want to get into. And then they fall into somewhat of a of a trap in in right. a way if if they don't um, like guard themselves. You know, how have you been able to kind of like guard yourself through this walk? Well, one accountability, having people that keep it real with you, you know, and two, just I think you know it's important to to, to constantly check yourself check your motives doing doing the checks and balances yep you know um it's real easy to get distracted because one thing about i don't want to just place it on music but because we're talking about music it's real easy when you have some sort of name or your music is moving mm. when people start to give you those props when people start to say you're my favorite rapper right you know what i mean to for it to get to your head you know what i mean and it's just important to remind yourself why i do this why you know i pursue this remembering that the gift that you have comes from the gift giver mm -hmm. like you wouldn't even be able to do these things if if god ain't give it to you That's you know so what good. i mean so yeah man you just gotta check yourself and I, I check myself a lot i take a lot of breaks you know i drop a lot of music yeah that's one thing about me but i also take a lot of breaks and re take a lot of resets like self-reflection and stuff yeah you know um because music is spiritual man yep you know what i mean um and you know i look at the platform god has given me as a it is a responsibility yes you know what i mean and you know there's there's a lot of arguments with christ amongst the christian artists like you know um if music should be meant is music and ministry one in the same mm. You know what I mean? And, you know, that's an interesting, you know, topic in itself. And, you know, but for me, like I said, this is a responsibility. This is important. Yeah. And it's important for me to say, to be who it is that I say that I am. You know what I mean? Because yeah. there is so many believers who proclaim the name of Christ that say they're Christian that don't. You know what I mean? That don't, that aren't who they say that they are. You know, they might be that on Sunday or Saturday, wherever you go to church, but then the rest of the week. Yep. You know what I mean? Um, it's just know. a forged life. That's yeah. what they're, you know what I mean? Most definitely. So, you know, it's just important to be who you say that you are, man. Yeah. You know, Colossians uh, 317, and everything you do, do it as a representative Amen. of the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, and um, that's one of my favorite verses, and it's like, it's stuck with me. You know, there's certain verses in the Bible that, I don't know if you've been through this, you know, there's some verses that I read that I intentionally try to memorize. And then there's some verses that I, I memorized the moment that I read it. Like, mm. it just stuck with me. And that's mm -hmm. one of those things that, like, as soon as I read it, I just I just knew it. Right. <laughs> but, yeah, man. No, that's that's a good point, you know, because, um, like you said, not only just for music. This is a way of life, right? Yeah. And sometimes people want to differentiate, like, oh, you know, I'm a Christian rap artist. So, I'm a, you know, I'm a man of faith or whatever that raps. But it's all one and the same, bro. You know, when you have Christ in your life, you want to apply Christ in every aspect of your life, yeah. whether it be music. Now you're married, right? Mm -hmm. Your testimony should be right with your marriage as well. You know, as a man, as a husband, you know what I mean? Right. It should be, the, it should all kind of go through the same, you know, channels. It shouldn't just be, like you said, one person being one way on Sunday and then they're freaking beating their wife on 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 tuesday or wednesday you know <laughs> which is it's happened it's true stories that that are out there like that right um right so i think you know being true to yourself is i think this is so important especially as things continue to to grow especially for you now right too like from giving your life to christ 
now you're in this whole music thing you're getting tours you're getting invited here right like some right. sometimes our mind goes through some wild stuff that we're like oh i'm i might be that guy now you know <laughs> what i mean i might just be that guy and those are the things like you said that you have to just kind of check yourself right and 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 not fall into that pride or that or that trap that that you kind of taint your testimony and then start kind of like overdoing it with yourself you know and it's so easy and it could just be like I was saying earlier, I don't want to just place it on music, but it could be anything God yeah. gives you. Yep. You could be a prideful pastor. That's right. You could be a prideful, you know, you ain't got to pursue music, but you could sing in the choir and be the best singer in that choir mm -hmm. and your head get blown up. You could yep. be an evangelist, Any, anything, yep. anything where it's a platform where people could... Yep. You know, give you props and yo man, I was really blessed by yep. you start to feel you the one who's given the blessing. That's right. Forgetting that we are just vessels. <laughs> we vessels. The Lord uses us. Yeah. You know, works through us. You know, we're not the ones um you know doing it. You yeah. Know? Amen. So now how 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 has it been with um with this idea that, that you got to go into uh like the gritty CHH type of stuff like what was um i know we could probably go in super deep in, in, into that but like what was like the thought process behind it was it because you you love that style that you were like wait a second let, let's create something about it so what what was behind the and what was your goal i guess to like the main purpose for it like what was the main purpose for this whole gritty cha stuff that you started pushing a lot well um you know when i first got saved you know um Obviously, I want to listen to music. You know what I mean? Like, music has always been my life. Right. I love rap, love hip hop, and um, but I'm also from the East Coast. I, I come from battle rap. Right. You know what I mean? I have that background for real. You know what I mean? It's documented. Um, and I just like you know boom bap. But when I got saved, it was kind of hard for me to find those type that type of music that I was looking for. I think the first artist that I found was uh, No Malice, you know, from, okay. from the clip. Yep. I was like, he was one of the, you know, the first ones I ran into mm. his music. Like, I just like, oh, and I listened to that and I was like, yeah, this is what I'm looking for. Okay. But, um, you know, I didn't know where to go. You know, I didn't know about Rapzilla or nothing like that. I just didn't know. Right. You know what I mean? So, um, when I started to do music, you know, um, obviously my music's a little aggressive. You know what I mean? I do harder, you know, boom bap beats. I like that, you know, gritty style. You know what I mean? Like that's that's just the type of music that I like. So um, just one day, you know, the whole gritty CHH was just how I described my music. Mm. <laughs> that was like, this, this is my music. I make gritty CHH. But the, you know, as time progressed, I started to see that there were other artists as I started to educate myself on the, uh, you know, the genre and, you know, just for fun, I just wanted to create a playlist called Gritty CHH and just put everybody that I have stumbled across, put it on a playlist. And uh, yeah, it just started to become like a little community. I see people call themselves a Gritty CHH artist or a Gritty CHH producer. And it's kind of like, it's kind of cool to see, you know what I mean? Like yeah. it become a community. Like, you know, the majority of the dudes that do that style, like, I'm cool with. Like, I'm in a group chat. We have a Gritty CHH group chat. Oh, that's what's up. You know what I mean? Like, you know, we keep uh, each other updated on each other's music, support it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And most importantly, man, we do it for God. Right. We do it for God. That is the uh, the goal. Right. You know, because CHH um, has every style. And right. I'm not a hater of it, of yeah. trap or drill. Yeah. I even do some of that you know, on occasion. You know what I mean? But I just... uh. I saw that there was a lane, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And I was just like, man, if we could just kind of like lock arms yeah. and just have our own little pocket, you right. know what I mean? Because there's believers out there that they're looking for that. Right, right. You know, the church I'm going to now, you know, my pastor told me that um, someone came to him that was just saved, was like, yo, man, anybody like a Styles P or... <laughs> Or like, you know what I mean? Like, Rizzo. yeah, like something in that. And he was like, oh yeah, you know, uh, C4 Cortona, uh, 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 YP, AKA Young Paul, yep, yep. the commissioner, like, you Shout know what I mean? To like, YP too, yeah. you know what I mean? So, you know, there, there's names to give people now, you know yep. what I mean? And, um, 
You know, I don't want to sound like I'm the inventor because there's been artists right, right. doing. You're that just style. highlighting it. I just highlighted it. I just put a name on it. Yeah. And um, yeah, man, it's been kind of dope to see. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure you're getting a lot. And also, like, like you got dudes from the street mm -hmm. that are really about that life that that find Christ, and then they just pivot a little bit, and now they're they're doing it for the Lord and stuff like that, right? Like, have you come across people like that that have like? Yo, bro, like, this is what I used to do, da, 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 da. you know, and I love what you're doing, yeah. you know, I'm finding Christ now, and, like, help, do you help them kind of, like, the kind of distinguish the two? Because sometimes people could end up forging that too, right, <laughs> and get into that realm and then think, like, nah, I was the biggest dude in the block or whatever, you know, after they got saved, but they never talked about that before they were saved, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, right, right. So do you, have you come across stuff like that or while, while you've been developing this, this community? I mean, yeah, you know, um, man, I'm not gonna lie, I come across all types of people. <laughs> you know, I have the gritty CHH uh, yeah. Instagram, and I get all sorts of people, man. There's even people from prison that got cell phones. It's, Yo, man, I'm listening to this. Oh, that's what's up, bro. That's what's <laughs> I'm up, like, man. Yeah. You know, um, I like that. It's just, it's just, a, you know, just trying to fan, uh, you know, Christ to him. Right. You know what I mean? It's just. It's just a style of music that, yeah. you know what I mean? And it's just planting seeds, yeah. you know? Um, like I said, I get, to, I get to know a lot of these dudes and yeah. some of these, their testimonies is real. Yeah. You know what I mean? Some of them aren't, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> the Lord got to, uh, yep. you know. But, but, but that's good that, that you're doing this and that you found an outlet to kind of like, um, kind of baby like you know or cradle in a, in a way yeah because you you've seen it grow you've seen what comes out of it um and it just lets people in general right like know even those who are watching right like there's always an outlet for you to kind of like jump into yeah that to make it become something right that you can put christ in literally everything that we do as long as you literally are just putting Christ at the center, right? Right. Like you could literally start up a business and Christ is in there, you're good. You do music, you put Christ in there, that's good. Like I believe he goes, he can, he should be in every kind of aspect of our lives, whether it be music, whether it be without music. And for the fact that you've been able to find like a niche in a, in a way yeah, yeah, yeah. that not a lot of people were, were catering to, or maybe it was there, it was just never a thing. Yeah, yeah, there's even artists that always wanted to do it, but they didn't because they felt like, you know, sometimes it just takes one person to yep. kind of like, you know, when I came in CHH, I was very aware of what works, mm. you know what I mean? But, you know, I felt led to make the music that I that I do, yeah. you know what I mean? I felt led to that, you know, I could do the auto-tune stuff. Right. I got some stuff out there with that. I could do the trap stuff or whatever, but I was just like, you know, what's my goal and my mission? Right. You know what I mean? And like I said earlier, I come from battle rap. I come from that. Those are the people that I want to reach. Right. Those are the people that I want to drop, you know, um, some, some, some seeds, you know what I mean? Some good seeds, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So, you know, and, you know, pray the Lord bring the increase. Right. You know what I mean? So, you know, that's really the mission, you know. That's the just, foundation just, of where you're at. Yeah, to just reach back. Yeah. You know, sometimes, sometimes, you know, people won't hear you in conversation, but it, like I said, it's something about music, it's spiritual. Yep. Like I might have, you know, try to evangelize to someone and they, you know, I'm trying to hear it. Right. You know what I mean? But, you know, now it's in a boom back fire beats with the sample, I'm preaching the gospel, mm -hmm. spitting, you know, mm -hmm. fire. They they got they gotta receive it. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> they go to receive no, it true. regardless. Regardless, you know it's I mean? gonna get in. You know, um, you know the enemy has strategies in, in, in how to attack us. He has yep. strategies. He has plans and stuff like that. Yep. You know, um, he leaves, comes back at the next opportune time with a with a different way. Right. And you know, in a way, we have to be we have to be strategic as well when we plant seeds. Sometimes, you know. You know, you could preach the gospel in so many ways. You know what I mean? It could be like this. It could be on the corner with the loudspeaker. It could be, you know what I mean? So this is just another way, yeah. you know what I mean, to, 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 to spread that. Yeah. You know I, mean? yeah. I like that, bro. I like that. And as long as the foundation is set to where you have it, you're always going to succeed in it, right? You can't, when you have the Lord on your side, there's no way you're going to fail, right? As long as you're keeping them on the foundation. So a lot of people, sometimes they see, but they don't know that, that part of you, you know what I mean? That 
you're really about that. Like, I'm not just about doing a, you know, a track. I want to reach you. I want to plant the seed. I want, I want you to know the same Christ that I know, you know. I want God to do the same things that he's been doing in my life. So I, I appreciate you for that too. And I, and I appreciate you also being true, not only to the genre, but also being true to, to what the Lord is doing in your life. You know right. what I mean? And that's where we got to kind of like uh, stay in that lane. And you said it in the beginning, right? The accountability factor and stuff. Right. Um, but before we close, and and I, I would like for you to tell somebody, right? Like anybody that's in this space, a man, married, you know what I'm saying? Doing music or in the creative space, how about that? Like what what's, what's some type of insight would you like to, to give them that you've seen kind of like taken advantage of? Yeah. And you wish that people could to do this especially upcoming artists or just you know uh, creative people in general yeah you know I would just tell them man you know stay focused man. stay focused on the Lord keep your eyes on the Lord you know um, it's like what we was talking about the other day on the phone I'm like yo if there's one day I miss of prayer if I just miss a day mm -hmm my life is off track I, i'm more susceptible to attacks mm. um, you know what i mean that that you know the enemy just waits like a you know like a roaring Blind. lion looking for that moment to just jump on you yeah you know what i mean and um you know you don't want to you know let the enemy come in into your art you know what i mean mm. uh you know when you when you start getting lazy with your prayer start getting lazy with your focus you know what i mean um He's gonna come in and try to contaminate that, you know. Um, a, a lot of t a lot of reasons I take a break from music is sometimes I notice when I'm getting lazy, you know, with my prayer and my reading. But I'll still pursue music, mm. and that's like a problem. Oh, so you getting lazy with your praying and your reading, but you're not mm. lazy to do that music and stuff like that. Mm, you know what good. I mean? So. Um, you know, you got to make sure that this doesn't become an idol to you that, you know, realize that this is a tool. You know what I mean? And you got to keep that tool sharp. You got to keep that tool oiled, you know, you know, you know what I mean? So that would be just stay focused, man, on the Lord and, and, and be who you say that you are outside of the microphone. Right. You know what I mean? Because this is just something that we use that's going to pass on, you know. Amen. I love that, bro. <laughs> yeah, I love that. I, I could already, uh, you know even from the first interview to to now right i you know you could already see the 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 difference you know what i'm saying the maturity yeah. the um um the mindset i don't know if maybe because you're married now you know what i'm saying <laughs> and it's a different more structure we could probably do another episode on probably marriage um that'll kind of be interesting right. but um but dude I, I i like that and i think everybody you know um needs to see you know different sides of who you are right and um, um, I'm glad that you were able to, to come through. You know, I'm glad that you were able to, to come by and, and share a little bit, some some insight, you know what I mean? Right. Um, is there any like projects, you know, be, be like that you got that are maybe like hidden or that you can't really talk about or you got some some new stuff that you're about to drop? Well, you always got something you're gonna drop. <laughs> yeah, but... yeah. Well, you know, we just dropped that 99 project with me and the gritty CHH bros, me, YP, YP, the commissioner, say a lot of corner, yeah. Joseph SD. Shout out to Joseph um, SD. My boy, uh, Lee through the third seven, Q Flow, yeah. Prodi, uh, Riggs. Um, if I forgot your name, my bad. Yeah. <laughs> Fully produced by my guy, uh, A.O. Shamir, which y'all know has yep. produced a lot Amen. of my records. Yep. You know what I mean? That's out. That's Shout still out new. AO. Go listen to that. Um, and I got two, I got two more projects this year working on a third beautiful you know what i mean um i got one project fully produced by my uh the menace producer uh, dax hammer you know what i mean and i got another project that's that's coming a little sooner I, I can't i don't know if i can mention that one yet but it's coming let's it's go coming bro you got a lot you got a lot going on this year <laughs> yep, yep 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 and uh working on a project with shamir um that's dope and then something else so i actually got four i actually got four wow that's yeah. you gotta, you gotta <laughs> You got them all ready. Yeah, you already yeah, got yeah. them on the mag already, bro. Yeah, like, man. that's that's dope, bro. I'm glad you're you're staying in motion and doing what what you got to do, bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm really um 
I'm straight up blessed, bro, by just seeing, you know, what the Lord is doing in your life, bro. Like, your wins are my wins too, bro. And, and, and I feel totally, like, super excited about it. I can't wait to hear the, the rest of the projects that, that you got going on, right? Um, because at the end of the day, we're just trying to impact the kingdom, bro, right? We, we just want to reach people, bro, in, in whatever way, shape, or form. So I'm, I'm glad you're, you're staying true to it. You're doing your thing, and may the Lord continue to bless you and expand your territory, right, in, in, in what you're doing. And not only through the music, but just with, with people that, that just need that seed planted in their heart, right? Man. So God bless you, brother. Thank you, man. I appreciate this time, <laughs> the, this this little uh, interview that we were able to to just chop it up a little bit. Right. Hopefully, we get some other stuff uh, going on. We could cook something up outside of the camera and stuff like that, and figure out what what we can what we can do next. I know we spoke about some things on the phone. Right, right, right. Um, we'll see what happens. Yeah. But um, with that being said, C4 Cortona. If you have, if you don't know what's up now you know right if you don't know now you know go check out his information i'm gonna have him all in the description of this video um stay tuned to the next projects that he got going on follow his social handles instagrams twitters well, whatever social media platform is out there he's probably on it right so make sure you you go check it out um thank you for tuning into another video if you haven't subscribed like i said subscribe now hit that bell icon um today's video we got great coffee in the house we got something new that we're gonna be promoting he's the it's first fire. one right it's now fire. to actually get a taste of this iced tinto from great coffee um we just enjoying the time this is gonna be dropped pretty soon but like whatever other episode we'll just see you in the next one god bless you all